Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a somewhat of a detailed look on how I um, <clears throat> turned the cryo tube from this to this. Alright, here you see two lights shining on Master Chief, so you can see here's a uh, sleeping in there. And uh, if I turn this thing around a little bit, you would see a switch right there. That's an on-off switch. And if I switch this, uh, I mean, if I flip the switch off, lights go off, go out. And here's a look at inside the cryo tube. Here, see a green light over here and over on the other side you see another green light so yeah there he is uh, let's get started all right in this portion I'm gonna um, show you guys how to deconstruct this uh, cryo tube uh, first thing uh, I don't know if this is necessary but uh, most likely you'll have to take it out too uh, the back panel there are two screws one right here and one right here basically the whole thing sits right there so you just take that off and then you have to unscrew this there's a use this. there's a screw in here you have to take that out there's another screw down here you have to take that out and then you want to uh, detach the top portion of it uh, basically, uh, they are just pegged in. There are no screws whatsoever attaching uh, the lid to the cylinder. And uh, they're just pegged in like so. Four pegs right there. And what you want to do is that uh, get a flathead screwdriver and shimmy through here to the slot. And then it should pop right up one at a time. Three. This one was the hardest. So. I don't know why, but it is for me. So you just pop them off, and uh, here you see the inside. Uh, basically, if you remove those three screw screws, then uh, the top lid would open up as well. And then for the for the tube itself, it's fairly simple because you already removed the two uh, screws that's holding two halves together of the cylinder and you also have to remove the bottom as well too there's a screw in the bottom remove that one and then this thing should come apart and this thing should come apart like so and uh, on the bottom well you could take the seat out because it's just uh, there's nothing attached to it other than uh, some pegs on the side right there four of them and they just uh, pegs onto the side of the tube and then you could remove uh, these two panels well uh, well this yeah this little step step piece you would have to uh, undo that screw on the bottom first in order for you to remove this piece and then once this piece is removed uh, this uh, base is uh, pegged onto the side of these two halves now here you see two pegs right there and uh, the bottom right there they just sits right on top of it so you gotta uh, kind of wiggle it around to remove it but uh, you don't want to force it because you don't want to break this uh, break these uh, little pegs as well too and same thing for the other side and then uh, you would also have to slide this portion out this right here this is the slider thing it just slides right in so you just slide slide that out and um yeah i think so that should be it so now here are all the pieces the base and the step stool piece i guess and there's the the back of, well i guess the bed portion of it and then the, the two halves of the cylinder the back support and the base section and the front of the tube the, yeah so there they are 
All right, so here's what I have so far. Um, battery, I'm using a 9 volt battery. Then uh, it's a uh, negative part is connected to the switch. The switch uh, is connected to the resistor and the resistor is connected to an LED. And then there's another wire connected to another LED and then loop it all back down to the positive wire to the battery. And uh, here's the switch. And once I flip the switch, there are the LEDs. So um, basically, this is a uh, not that hard of a process to do. Um, the hardest thing is uh, calculating uh, what resistor you'll need. But uh, I'll show you guys what I have here. And uh, you guys could just uh, follow along, buy the same materials, and uh, you'll you'll be golden and uh, here's the switch the switch is connected to the first two um, pieces of uh, uh, metal just two not the third one because uh, you need uh, you need uh, you need that switch to be able to turn off and on so when it's uh, on position um, the the metal uh, piece inside will connect the circuit and if you switch it to the off position it will just uh, disconnect the the the, the, uh, the electricity the current all right as far as the LEDs um, uh, I bought uh, quite a few of them and I believe these are three volts or a little more than three volts because um, uh, I bought the uh, bundle pack and uh, they didn't really specify uh, how many volts are in each one of them so um, from what I could gather uh, at the um, at, uh, uh, Radio Shack, uh, these are about 3 volts. It might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less, but uh, 3 volt uh, LEDs and 9 volt batteries. Uh, so you have uh, 9 volt on the battery, 2 LEDs, uh, 3 volts each, roughly around there. And then on the packaging, it'll tell you how many uh, uh, milliamp it has. And uh, so these are the numbers you really need to know. Uh, the 3 volts for the LEDs, the 20 milliamps for the LEDs, and then uh, the battery you're using, 9 volt. And then uh, you take the battery, the 9, you subtract 6 because I have 2 LEDs, 3 plus 3 equals 6. And then you subtract that, you have 3 volts. And then you take the 3 volts and then you divide it by the milliamps. But, uh, uh, and then you, you just... Uh, uh, push the decimal point uh, two points ahead, uh, two two space ahead. So you have uh, three divided by zero point zero two, which equals to one hundred fifty milliamps uh, ohm uh, uh, for the re resistor. So uh, you divide uh, three by zero point zero two, which equals to uh, one hundred fifty. Give or take, uh, since I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, how big my uh, LEDs are. So I'm getting a 150 ohm, that's for the resistor. So when you go purchase your resistor, it'll tell you how, uh, what they could uh, take. So this one takes uh, 100 uh, ohm, OH, uh, o OHM, and then uh, these are the ones that I chose. And, uh, this is what they look like. You need this. Otherwise, uh, your LED, LED is going to blow out because uh, um, you're pushing too much uh, power into the LEDs. So, uh, and it gives off the, the best light too. Right now, it's giving a really bright LED lights. And uh, it's all because of the resistor. Because otherwise, uh, these things will heat up really quick and they'll just burn themselves out. Uh, the reason why it's uh, flickering and it went off is because I didn't... Um, this is just for a demonstration. I didn't uh, attach the switch to the wires uh, perfectly, so that's why it went out. And here I'm just showing you a uh, somewhat of an idea what I'm planning to do. Uh, use imagination, because uh, these light will not be on the outside. They will be inside the walls. And uh, this will be on this side, and the other one will be on the other side. So basically, uh, if you cover up the top, this is uh, how much light will shine through. And uh, Master Chief is gonna be sitting in here, and um, and the switch will be on the back of the uh, back of the uh, tube there. So it'll be an easy access to turn off and on. And uh, the base of this uh, 
tube. There's uh, quite an opening right here, and uh, for some reason, it actually fits a 9 volt battery pretty perfectly. Here you can see here. Well, most likely, I'm just gonna add a little uh, panel um, so that the 9 volt battery or a clamp so that the 9 volt battery will stay put, and then uh, the wiring will just go inside this tube and all the way out from the back the back of the cryo tube it's gonna run all the way through in here and then the wire is gonna run along the inside and to the panel so you'll be able to see the light but not the wires throughout this thing so yeah all right now this will seem a little confusing but uh, actually in reality it's not that bad uh, so you have the the 9 volt battery attached to the, the to two wires a black one and a red one and it's running through the tube all the way up here and then I drill the hole there and then pull the black wire up and then I have to drill another hole in this compartment here and then wire it to the middle section and then the red one um, will go in from the side here out here and then attach to the light bulb right there to the LED right there and then the other side of the LED have a wire running across to the other side to the other wire and then the other end of the LED it's attached to the resistor and then re the resistor is attached to a white wire which is running back in into the switch and, uh, and it's attached to the bottom so this is the whole wiring system of the cryo tube all right and the switch comes with uh, two screws basically that's what I did screwed it onto this panel back here and when I turn on the switch Oh, if I can get my hands on there. There we go. The lights are on on the inside. The tube. And I just need to put the seat, well, the, the bed back on here and everything else. But basically, this is how it's going to be the two lights. And um, uh, I drilled the hole a little too big, so uh, instead of having uh, uh, this, is what I used. Uh, basically, I use um, glue gun and uh, add a piece of glue over over the uh, over the um, the hole here, and then um, basically push the LED into it, so it creates a kind of a um, a lens effect on top of it. There's the glue. It's a mess back here, but. Uh, Hey, it works, so I'm okay with it. This side is a little bit messier, um, but uh, this side it looks really good actually. Yeah. So there you have it. I'm gonna put everything back together and then show you the final result. All right. So overall, this is a great experience, and uh, learned a lot about LEDs and. Uh, how to attach them, all the wirings and stuff like that. Uh, it's definitely worth doing uh, if you plan on working with uh, more LEDs in the future. Since I got this down, uh, most likely I'm going to try putting LEDs onto some of my vehicles, uh, such as a uh, tumbler and maybe the bat pot. And uh, we'll see how that how those uh, turned out. And um, I will probably do more tutorials on how to do these things uh, uh, when I get started on those. And um, so here's one last look. Uh, it is a little uh, not as bright as I hope, and but it's okay uh, for what it is. Uh, if I turn all the lights down, then could clearly see Master Chief uh, sleeping in there but you don't want the lights to be too bright either because you don't want to oversaturate the, the inside of the tube because he is sleeping not supposed to be extremely bright inside and uh, I'm glad the, uh, the LED didn't show through inside of the
panels here on the side of the tube. Uh, initially, when I tested it out, um, uh, the, the lights were definitely uh, showing through the side of this uh, tube here. But uh, at the end here, uh, end result uh, is not showing through, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, um, overall it's a great experience and uh, definitely worth doing. And if you guys have any questions, uh, you're welcome to uh, message me or comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them if I know how. And uh, here you can see some wires coming through, but barely, you can barely see anything. And uh, I do like the, the touch of a switch on the side here, so yeah. There you go, it's a very clean mod. Uh, you don't see anything at all if you're just looking through it from the outside and uh, I just need to somehow uh, uh, attach the battery on here but for now I'm using ghetto style tape and uh, yep there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching